ever ran me down out on the forest must have followed me back in. Bendamon, no one's trying to run you over. Stop being a big hallucinating baby. Yeah? Could a big hallucinating baby do this? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the morning routine. Happy Wednesday! Cruising through this week. It's a very good week. It's a very happy monstery week in the weeks of Halloween and October, the month of October, so we're doing good. And we got some headlines. Let's get some headlines going here. Starting with. Oh, not starting with that one. Starting with. California takes first step to buy trains for its high speed rail route. What's the price tag? I guess it's about 22 bucks. That's all they can afford anymore after spending all that money on... Uh, notice I didn't even say where the route goes anymore because nobody cares because it's really just Bakersfield to, to Modesto maybe or Bakersfield to Fresno or something. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Hulk's skinny Hulk body is actually his true form without Bruce Banner. It's really just... I, if he's not the Hulk, he's just Frankenstein. That's what he looks like, is Frankenstein in that picture. Anyway. Fluffy pumpkin cinnamon rolls will be devoured before the pan even cools off. Gabrielle? Gabrielle? Oh, Gabrielle! What? Gabrielle, would you like to make some fluffy pumpkin cinnamon rolls for us? No! So <laughs> That was a terrible flying card. Anyway, moving on. Yes, it is Wednesday. It is. We're cruising. We're almost in the. Ooh, geez, let's see. The eleventh. We're getting close to the middle of the month. Can you believe it? We're almost halfway through October already. Crazy. But all week we've been talking about monsters and the different aspects of monsters. These are pumpkins, but pumpkins can be monsters sometimes. But pumpkins have a job. They have a job of converting themselves or being converted into jack o' lanterns and making. Pumpkin flavored things. Actually, a lot of pumpkin flavored things are not actually made with real pumpkin. And most pumpkin pies aren't always made with real pumpkin. But if you make a pumpkin pie with real pumpkin, it can be really pumpkin-y tasty. So, pumpkins are not creepy and they're not monsters. But, uh, monsters need to get a job. Monsters, like everybody else, like I talked about last week, you know, monsters need to get a job. You know, and they got to play on their strengths. You know, they got the, they got a lot going against them right now. You know, Frankenstein, uh, uh, you know, he's got a lot working against him. So he's got, what the, oh boy. Excuse me, just one second. <laughs> hey, Beelzebub, what's cooking, buddy? Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't need to know the details. Thank you very much. Uh, what can I do for you? Your coffee last week wasn't hot enough. Okay, okay. It, whoa, it needs to burn a little bit of the dead flesh off your lips. Got it. I will make a note of that. Uh, I guess the devil really is in the details. <laughs> no, 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 it was a pun. Uh, yeah, a pun. Uh, I guess it wasn't very punny. Yeah. Uh, where's pun guy when I need him anyway? Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, I'll make a note and um, call me back next time you need something, but definitely duly noted. Burn the flesh off the lips. Gotcha. All right, take care, feel some love. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Woo. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that got started. Bills above giving me a call during the Halloween months. I don't know. Maybe it feels like he just got to get connected. You know, he needs a job. He's got a job. He's running the underworld. That's a busy, important position. He's playing to his strengths, though, which is the point I was trying to make with Frankenstein. He's, uh, you know, not really a social cat, uh, but he's tall. He's strong. You know, he can reach those top shelves. He's got to play to his strengths. Bills above, on the other hand, he plays to his strengths as well. He delegates. He delegates well. He's got me up here in the happy world getting him coffee. 
And he's to burn the flesh off his lips. Yeah. So uh, you got to play to your strengths when it comes to jobs. And Monster's got to do the same thing. So, you know, Dracula, we talked about it. You know, he's got to get that job at night. The mummy, now here's an interesting dude. He can work during the day and he can work at night. He's kind of dusting. He's kind of dirty. So what kind of what can he do? You know, he's not really a guy. He's not going to take a shower. You know, the mummy. If he showers, it's gonna it's just gonna make a real big mess. But he's kind of dusty. He's kind of dirty fellow. Maybe he should work outdoors. Maybe he should be a landscaper. Uh, probably a great landscaper. Yep. He can work during the day. He can work at night. It's probably good long hours. Got some muscle. You know, uh, yeah, you know, he doesn't have to talk much. He can just be a one-man show. Just get himself a truck, a trailer, a lawnmower, a weed whacker, and a blower, maybe a shovel and a rake, and boom, he's got it. You know, the mummy, mummy landscaping. Yeah, there we go. See, solved the problem for him, mummy landscaping. Who else we got? Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now, here's a cat who's not really a cat. He's more like a fish, but he's got legs. He's got arms. He can walk. He can not really talk, but... Uh, you know, and he can go in and out of the water. This is a unique thing. You know, uh, you know what they really need? This is a good job and it pays really well. Underwater welders. Yeah, he could get a welding gig, go to school, get a little welding job going and do some underwater welding. That's, that's super important. Scraping the bottom of boats. Yes, barnacles grow on the bottom of boats and sometimes get gunky and stuff. And instead of pulling the bigger boats out of water, putting them in a dry dock or something, someone's got to get under there with a chisel scrape that stuff off now we got to put air tanks on and stuff like this but this cat fish he can just jump right in and get to it so hey play into his strengths you know he's got what is that uh, uh black lagoon boat bottom scrubbing yes yeah, it's a horrible name it's in the works but we'll we'll figure it out anyway play to your strengths know what they are figure them out write them down make sure they're on your resume and then be able to talk about them when someone says tell me about yourself be sure to include your strengths in there somehow. Not how good you are at scraping the, the bottom off of boats, you know, or that you're a fast swimmer. Creature from the Black Lagoon might sound something like, well, you know, I have this really unique ability and I love this part that I get to, I get to enjoy coming out of the water and going back into the water. And I can stay into the water for a long time. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm a good, strong swimmer. Those are some good play into his strengths kind of things, right? That's what we do. So. Wednesday, what do we got going here? We got the wolf man telling us about some cool monsters. Kind of real monsters. You know, the, the Loch Ness monster, the Yeti, the Chupacabra. All kinds of crazy monsters in mythology and storytelling. Let's see what he's got for us today. I don't know why that's what happens on Wednesday, guys. It's really tough to wake up in the morning and have this much facial hair. And I don't know. I got some self-esteem issues on Wednesdays. But, uh, it's the Great Werewolf, and uh, there's many friends out there. We're going to talk about my buddy, the Banshee. The Banshee, actually. The Banshee is a mythical uh, monster um, from uh, England, or Irish. It's been uh, from old Irish... So, so what it is, it's a woman of the fairy mound, or fairy woman. It's a female spirit in Irish folklore who heralds the death of a family member annually by screaming, wailing, shrieking, or kneeling. Her name is connected to the mytholo myth mythologically important Tuuli or mounds that dot the Irish countryside, which are known as side, which is singular, is Sid in Old Irish. Um, sometimes uh, she has long streaming hair, which she may have, may be seen combing, so may be seen combing um, off to the side. She wears a gray cloak, green dress, uh, you know, the the, the Banshee is, uh, she, you know, she, she's a really, she's, she's really a, a thin woman sitting on the mound, coming her here, she screams a lot. Uh, she can be a little bit, you know, you don't want to hang out with her very much, I get it, you know, but if you're ever down to go to a concert, 
she yells, and she's good on roller coasters too, because she's screaming a lot. So, uh, you know, hey, check out the Banshee. There's a lot more to read about this uh, this myth here, this old Irish myth. Uh, you guys, uh, so yeah, the Banshee. I just thought it was a Star Wars related thing because I love Star Wars so much. Yeah, okay, even us Netherlands can love Star Wars, all right? All right, you guys. Hey, it's Wednesday. Real South, man. I gotta go munch on some snacks, probably a leg or an arm or something. All right, guys, let it. All right, very cool, very cool, creepy stuff that kind of, you know, people still like sending in videos. In fact, I told you last week that a ring doorbell is paying a million bucks for people to give them alien footage. Yeah. Like, that's a thing, I guess. Um, so, let's move on to see what our national day is today. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Yes, you know what day it is. And I'm going to do what we always do. And then Clayton's going to come out of his office and do his weirdo one. So let's get it over with. What day is it on the 11th of October? It is Trump Day. And everybody, well, not everybody, Clayton's going to come out of his office now and go, Hump Day. So, yeah, no, but it is Hump Day. And we're just rolling right along through the month. Everything goes by so quickly. Hmm. Oh well. But today's a good day. I think it is. I'm sure most of you out there are going to think it is. It's National Sausage Pizza Day. Ooh, yeah, sausage. You know, there's so many different types of sausage you can put on a pizza. You don't even think about it. If you have linguisa on your pizza, Linguisa is a sausage. Italian sausage, chorizo. Oh, uh, um, I don't think I wouldn't put Vienna sausages on my pizza. That probably, no, I wouldn't do that one. But I love a lot of, you know, pepperoni is a sausage, technically, because it's in a link. But, you know, they're probably thinking more along the lines of, you know, sausage, sausage. You can take it out of the casing, put it on the pizza. Slice it like you do linguisa, put it on pizza. Mm. An all meat pizza, an all, no, because then it would have different meats, but it wouldn't be just all sausage, but I love a good sausage on a pizza. Nice spicy one, you bite into it, mm, that's good. I just don't know too many restaurants that make a really good sausage pizza. I know the church key over here makes a good pizza. I love their crust. So, I usually make them at home myself. But, I'm sure everybody out there has their own favorite pizza place. So, whatever your favorite pizza place is, whether it be the one you go and get it, or you make it at home, have some sausage pizza today on National Sausage Pizza Day. Almost a tongue twister. All right, very good. That is it for today, this wonderful day of October the 11th, Wednesday. Yeah, that's the day. That's what it says right here, October the 11th, Wednesday. Uh, so coming up, 1 o'clock, we got YouTube Live, Job Hunt Live. We'll, maybe we'll get one of those monsters to come on and talk about playing to their strengths. That'd be cool. Or maybe not. Kind of hard to get a hold of. Probably out job seeking right now anyway. So have a great day, everybody. We'll see you at YouTube Live 1 o'clock. Otherwise, have a great Wednesday for the morning routine. We'll see you tomorrow morning on the morning routine.